WRAL has obtained the 911 calls from a shooting at American Tobacco Campus. They depict a chaotic scene, as you would imagine, with some callers even unsure of who the target of the flying bullets was. WRAL's Monica Casey has the latest on the police investigation as officers continue searching for a man wanted in the case. Durham police have arrested a juvenile in connection with this shooting. They're searching for another suspect right now as well. Sky 5 video shows a large crime scene at the popular American Tobacco Campus last Tuesday. Durham police responded to a call of shots fired around 1030 in the morning. We just heard a bunch of um, things popping off and there's a car that ran over um, a bench and uh, yeah, so we just have the car sitting here and they ran off. Four people called 911. You calling about the law? All that stuff? Yes. Yeah, we got several calls on it. What can you tell me? Uh, well, I was sitting and I heard about five gunshots. Some callers thought the two suspects were shooting at each other. A guy came by, he ran over a bunch of plant pots um, in the APC campus, and there were a few gunshots. Um, he abandoned his vehicle and looks like another guy was chasing after him. Oh, wow. Okay. Police have confirmed the gunfire was aimed at two people on the sidewalk. They say this was not random. Okay, is anyone injured? Not that I can see. I'm inside of a business. They got out of the car. A 16-year-old has been arrested in this case. He's charged with assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, conspiracy-related charges, and going armed to the terror of the public. Police are also looking for 21-year-old Antoine Lorenzo Page Jr. He's charged with possession of a stolen car and conspiracy-related charges. Our Monica Casey reporting. Meantime, police are searching and asking anyone with information about this shooting or Page's location. You saw his picture at the end to come forward.